Right, let's talk it's about obvious. the super, uh, the <laughs> super eagles good. of Nigeria, Cecilia. Uh, and the, the, list see, the list is out. And of course, I wasn't surprised not seeing Kelechi and Chop because I felt it's hard time coach start dropping him and then maybe he'll want to improve in his game. We've seen the NHL over the years and see that even when he's not playing for his club and he gets into the national team, with him missing out this time around, I think and I believe maybe he wants to, you know, do something better because I don't understand why he's not playing. I mean, uh, Claude Poel actually tried his best, you know, to bring him in into games and all that. We've seen... Big part role. Mm. Big part, part role. role. Well, it's difficult it, to the, make the, an impression. The 10 minutes that he's been given in some of those games, five minutes Sometimes and all that's that. that's all you need. That's all you need, exactly. I mean, your I first see. touch and everything. But we've seen that it's not really been good for him. No. So I think maybe he and Achan need to actually look at himself and see how he can you know, improve in his games and all that. But I'm not surprised about Mikel at all because I know he was going to come for the Nations Cup. Uh, let's take it one by one. Let's start with uh, Ian Acho. Uh, surprised um, he's been left out? No. No. Okay. Not. I'm not. Um, I think if you look at his, his season, if you look at his form this season, right. um, doesn't deserve a call up. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Except we want to go sentimental and feel, oh, he's been part of the, the, the raw program or the raw template. Right. So you can come in. But I feel he might still be a part of the Nations Cup. Just like Mikel Lebi will also still be a part of the Nations Cup, in my own opinion. But this is Seychelles and Egypt, two inconsequential games. No. But for the coach, it is. No. The Seychelles game is inconsequential. Preparations begin. That's, what, that's where I'm going. Apple. But for it's Raw, on, yeah. Raw will tell you. I mean, a lot of persons will argue. Why do you have to invite all, all these, these guys, guys in court? It's guys. just Seychelles and Egypt. But I can I can speak on on behalf of Raw and say, you know what? I probably have this window. Just this window to uh, see these boys again officially mm -hmm. before the Nations Cup proper in June. Except FIFA creates another window before Correct. June. So Correct. if that window is not going to be created, it's not going to be created. Then let me have bulk of my team that will be going to Egypt in June, mm. and then before they go to camp Perhaps for the Nations Cup, I would have seen one or two and say, okay, probably you will be going, you will be going. Mm. But I'm sure somewhere on, at, at the back of his mind, he's got some um, first eleven. Not even mm -hmm. first eleven. Right. He's got some players that will be at the Nations Cup, and Mikel is one of them. Right, without playing any of the qualifiers. Oh, okay, it um, doesn't matter. We've seen that happen no, a whole lot. I'm not saying it matters. I mean, I'm even, just saying. even away from the Africans, we've seen that happen. All right, then let's uh, see what the uh, the squad uh, looks like now. The makeup of the squad um, is uh, three goalkeepers: Francis Uzo, Ikechukwu Ezenwa, and Daniel Akwei. I uh, will move uh, uh, just uh, in the January transfer window. Why, why, why are you laughing? This is just the showing that mm -hmm. Raw has a, a, a family, a squad. Oh, so yeah. this guy. Yeah, yeah so it's it's just, just, team, no though. matter what, if, if, if CC has had a fine season in Europe so yeah. far, hey, don't come and break the bond. It does, it does Especially in the one, thing, one thing I'll say again, Raw doesn't like spaces. Mm. I've noticed that. I've been covering all his own games mm. since 2016, since he took over against against Tanzania, that inconsequential game. Right. Look at it up until now. I I've, I've concluded same makeup, right? that doesn't Raw like... doesn't like but it. I was thinking but that goalkeeping situation. I was thinking that goalkeeping situation would have yeah. changed it. Maybe look for two, like, two, like two, or, two or three well, what, other goalkeepers the around the to group be, and see the ones you can Raw, actually bring. Yeah. To be fair to Raw, you could say perhaps those are the best goalkeepers in Nigeria. Mm -mm. That's a no. That he wants. That he wants, yeah. No problem. Do we have some that could be here that are not here? I mean, there, there are quite a handful of goalkeepers internationally and on the home front. Okay. If you ask me, even if it comes, let's, let's limit it to the MPFL. Uh, we talked about our fellow high mm -hmm. who has had his things, you know, with the nationals and probably chant him and all. Uh, we talked about um, this man at, uh, what was this club? Was it, was it Ijimba or Aqua? I can't remember. I can't remember his name now. But I'm sure even Suraj Ailes, there was a time, a lot of persons were talking about Suraj about making him? the national team because, he, he, I mean, he kept how many clean sheets in the league and all okay. of that. So, if you look at this, a lot of goalkeepers might have trickled in, especially since he came in, you know, went out of the national team, unfortunately. And, um, but okay. if you look at this setup, Uzo Akbayi, uh, what's his name? Ezenwa. Very consistent. Ezenwa is not even our most very consistent exciting setup. Go, uh, goalkeeper in the league. He's now with Casina United, so at okay. least he's... All right, let's, let's, let's look at the defenders um, quickly, Rotomi. Yep. Uh, Ola Ola, I know. Decent he's doing well season, for Torino. Uh, yeah. For Torino in the Syria. You also have Abdullah Ishe, who's Just back in action. Back. Got a goal over the weekend mm -hmm. as well, too. Valentine Ozonwafo. This one. 
Okay, let me go on through. Chidoze Awazim, William Ekong, Leon Balogun, Kenneth Omero, and Jamilo Collins. Obviously, the name that a lot of people are not used to, familiar Valentine. with, is Valentine. Oh, well, Jamilo Collins was... Uh, not Jamilo, I mean, Valentine is Valentine. the name we're yeah, not it's, familiar uh, with. Even Chidoze Awazim has not had, uh, until he moved to, I think he's on loan mm. to playing, a yes. particular yeah. team now. Yeah, he's, he's playing. He's and playing he just got Turkey, back. Yeah. At, yeah, in Turkey. He mm. just got back... Um, Playing well already. Well, time, though. But Leon Balogo has had probably a, an off season so far for Brighton. Mm -hmm. He's been appearing in uh, cup competitions, so it's not like he's been regular. It's been a regular. Yeah, but for Valentine, yeah. um, one would ask: Was this invite based on the current NPFL season, or Aimba's um, voyage at, on the continent the last time out, or something? Okay, he's or just probably only up raw. What? He's just oh, making oh, other. Let's move on. No, he's going. He's going. He, let's this is not about let's dropping. <laughs> it's just an addition. I mean, midfielders. Shemi Logo, Shemi Ajayi, Shemi Ajayi. Uh, we played indeed in Algeria. Carry Tebo and John Ogu. Shemi uh, can't play as a DM. So in case you're wondering, yeah, the guy's a defender. He can't play as a DM. He's been doing that recently for his club and scoring goals as well too. This is um, very funny. Uh, yeah. uh, in, in the last, um, is it three three lists by yeah, Raw? Very, very Is it mentioning three midfielders, four midfielders? <laughs> because it says the guys we have, let's go to the forwards now. It says the guys <laughs> in the forward position can. can also play in the midfield. We have Ahmed Musa, Victor Osimhen was a proper striker, Moses Simon, Henry Oyekuru, Bjorn Egalo, another striker, Alex Wobio, yeah, here can't play in the midfield, uh, Samuel Kalu and Paul Onwachi. That's the new face there who plays for SC Michelin. I know why Odion is, is, is here. I don't know myself. I know. Okay, why? he Tell said me. he knows. Okay. I know. And this is my own opinion, everyone. I think he wants to finish as uh, the top scorer oh, in the qualifiers. Okay. And that's why he's been invited. And that's so a good one. It doesn't that, matter. It doesn't matter who, who the opposition is. Off. It's been off. They, yeah, he will. He played a game last get, week. Mm -hmm. Yes, his, his, team, his new yeah, team yeah, lost. lost yeah. But the fact that he's, he's, he's not injured. Okay, yeah, he's, he's, he's got the right to be in the team. Right. And I would love him to probably finish the qualifiers as a top goal scorer. And mm. That's why I think he's been invited. And he might you know, get to feature against the Chelsea, especially. We might not see him against Egypt. Right. We'll yes. probably get to see him against the Chelsea, okay. just because of that. This is my own opinion. Personal Paul record. Onuachu is probably, if you look at the numbers, it's our the, best striker mm -hmm. yeah, right now. in Europe. Yeah. Or the, 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 sol, the most solid Nigerian striker in Europe. So um, it's, it's, it's good that um, he, he gets a look in. And that's deserved. Uh, for for what for Wales, Ahmed Musa, yes, just got back from injury, playing well. Uh, I'm looking at Alex Wobi, probably one of our best players so far this season as well. So All if right. you look at the attack, deserve colours. No, uh, papers <laughs> right now. Who said it with the Sporting Sun here? And this one, Moses says Chelsea made me rusty. Of okay. course, you were not playing. Of Sitting course. on the bench will be rusty. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Only natural. All the... Was it Chelsea? That's what he says. I'm not saying it. You have to he had a chance to leave after the World Cup. What happened? He didn't go. I mean, he wanted just... to fight for a place. Yeah. He couldn't get the place. And so he got rusty and left for Let's okay. okay. move on now. Okay. Okay. So that means he's not going back to Chelsea? <laughs> Mikel Yenacho <laughs> out of Seychelles. We already talked about this one. Mourinho boast. I built Real, not Zidane or Ancelotti. All right. Okay. Fantastic. Good one. Mm. I wonder he makes a uh, Belgium team of the week. That's a good one. And Modric saying they miss CR7. Of course, all those goals and the ones you have right now, having three, 13, and 20 goals between Vinicius, Bill, and Benzema. All right, let's move on to our sport in life now. Our battle against our Seychelles in Egypt. Iana uh, Chachukwe is a drop down. You mentioned it all the time. You'd say because he's been you know, testing the bench regularly in uh, recent times, and perhaps that's why he hasn't received the call up uh, this time. Musa Omero, 21, others invited. Uh, Neymar, it will be difficult to turn down Real Madrid. Interesting. As it ready for top four war. Yeah, that's going to be an all-out war uh, for uh, the teams that will qualify for next season. Champions League. Sanchez out for two months. Ah, it just goes from bad to worse uh, for Alexis and Sanchez since joining Manchester United. Liverpool, Manchester United, I, East Coast, uh, Swoop. Mikel Raps, Kalu over Mother's... Um, Modest kidnapper. That's, that's not a very good uh, story. Uh, Tony Peel is at promotion ticket. Uh, won't sway. Uh, Mikel, I don't know what he's trying to say there. Martial, uh, unlikely to face PSG. Uh, injury worries uh, for United ahead of tomorrow's game uh, in Paris. What kind of you picking? You're smiling. <laughs> Just come on, let's go. 30 seconds let's and we go. go. We don't have a lot of time left. Okay. 
Uh, when you were happy and laughing about it. I laughed. Wait, what are we? Uh, was the fifth form. What oh, happened Alexis in that one? I, did, I didn't. I, unless this is out. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. But I think Martial, uh, probably that will be a bit of good news for United fans. Uh, okay. If he gets to play against PSG. Anyway. He's not playing. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Maybe I tell you if he gets to, really. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for being part of this program. Thank you for watching. I'm Cecilia Amogbe. I'm Tyus Salam. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>